Hey guys, so today I'm going to try to do a nail tutorial. I'm not sure how it's going to come out. Hopefully it's going to be come out okay, I guess. So t this is the look that we're going for. And it's black and it has a fadedness of um, white sparkle into it. And then it has um, the Conad nail stamping um, snowflakes. So this is the look. Hopefully it's not, hold on, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so the stuff that I used, the glitter, um, I bought at Hobby Lobby, and then I just mixed it with um, clear acrylic. So this is the black that we're gonna be using, and then this is just like a clear sparkle. You probably can't see it very well, but yeah. Okay, so we did the black, and if you can note, if you notice, um, I did not do my smile line all the way at the top to the, like, to the, the nail, the false nail tip. That smile line, I did not go past that. I left a little bit of area, and so that's where we're going to put our um, just clear glitter, or like white sparkles. And we're just going to fill that in right there, and then we're just going to lightly feather it up to have a feathering effect. I also forgot to mention to you guys that when you're doing like each step to make sure that your acrylic is dry. So after the black, after I did the black, I waited till this the black dried and then I did the white, waited for that to dry and then I just filed over it to make it a little bit more smoother and then narrowed the sides right here and then I also shortened it a little bit. I start out my nail really long and then gradually shorten it um, to my desired length and then make sure everything matches, each finger matches. So um, so then, and also filing it down also helps create a little bit better fade effect as well. So now what I'm going to do is get ready for the whole acrylic lay and I'm just going to use um, Bond-Aid. And this is from OPI, and I'm just—it's just a nail dehydrator, and I'm just gonna put that over the over my nail that has not been covered yet. Um, make sure to stay away from the skin area, though. And then after that, after that dries, which will dry extremely fast, I am then going to use the um, Creative Nail Primer, and this is what helps your nails from lifting. And then I'm going to do the same thing as put it on the the my na natural nail part and then let that dry and then I will put the acrylic over it. So the acrylic part that I'm using is from Creative and the color is pure pink and it is a sheer color. So you're not going to see colors like this. It's going to be very transparent. Now this is going to be the hard part to do while filming because you have to be really careful on how you lay this part because you don't want you don't want to get it on your cuticles.
Okay, so I just got done filing, and I th think I forgot to mention that um, the I'm just using like a plain file. I do have a drill, but I just don't want to use it. So I'm just using a normal file. And then once you get done filing, make sure to wash your hands and scrape off all the extra dust and everything. Um, so now we're done with the acrylic part. And now we're going to move on to the Conan part. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay. So this is the plate. Let's see if I can get it in focus. This is the plate that we're going to be using. I think it is called M59, and it has two snowflakes on it that we're going to use both of them. And basically, we're just going to put the snowflakes wherever we feel. They're all kind of different and scattered. Um, they're all put in different places, so it doesn't really matter where you put them. Um, hold on one second. And make sure when using the Conan nail system that you're also using the Conan nail polish too. And make sure to only scrape it once. And if you get a little extra stuff on there, just get a Q-tip and brush that part off. And then you're just going to stamp it wherever you feel like. And then make sure to... Clean your stencil and scraper. And then we're going to we're gonna use this snowflake again. Oh, like I was saying, I don't think I finished. Only scrape it once because if you scrape it more than once, um your picture won't come out right on your nail. All right, so there are my snowflakes. So we're just going to move that aside. And we're just going to fold our towel. Okay, so now we're going to take... We're going to take Sachet Vite. I don't know how to say that right. But it's a fast dry, a fast drying top coat. And you just want to be really careful when you're putting a top coat on your Conad because it can smear. So you only want to use like one stroke. So I only, I'm only going to use one, three strokes. I'm going to use one right there on the side and on the other side. So the last part is the Northern Lights Nail Polish, and you can get this at Sally's. And this is the best glitter polish ever. And you have to make sure to shake it up. And the reason why I used I used the this one first is because it's you have to be really careful on what top coat you used on the Conad. So um, that's why I use this one. And now I'm just gonna put a coat of this on top to add a little bit of a little bit more sparkle to it. And then that is it. We are all done.